three ancient villages on the water's edge, one in a bay, one on a headland, and one on a steep ridge. On the edge, between the Isle of Ely and the Wild Fens. Well, we've just walked across the green, it makes me laugh, where the World Pea Shooting Championship takes place. up rushway track now we've just turned right at the edge of the field and we're taking again there's an alternative route on this one so we've actually branched off and gone up towards Widdens Hill Can we see? See that you can see. I don't, know if I, I don't know if you can make it out there, but the, the rays in the ground, you can actually see we're This is St. Mary's Church, built in the 13th or 14th century, I believe. Beautiful. It's one of the only churches in the Fens, where the Isle of Ely, anyway, that doesn't have a tower or spire. It has a bell cot instead. Right. 
crazy. This is one of them places that you've driven over a hundred thousand times, but never actually been underneath. Waves came, the wind was behind it, and this is as far as it got. I said, Well, you worried about it coming in the house, Dad, because he used to live here. And my brother was born here, and I was born just on the bank of the old Bedford Shepherd's Cottage. And he said, No, because it had got come up another couple of feet perhaps three, to get into the house. And I knew, because he was, he was chairman of the drainage, is I knew it, it got spread out a hell of a lot more to come up three feet, because, yeah. you know, it spread yeah. it out all the time. Yeah. He said, N I didn't think it had come anymore. He, he said, they weren't daft. He said, they built the houses. There was a whole row of cottages all along here, he said above the flood level of the oldest living person. He say, you don't want to build there, boy, you'll get flooded. <laughs> you know, it's that, yeah, they yeah. weren't daft. Yeah. As James repeatedly said in the book, they managed and dealt with the watery things yeah. as their friend and their enabler. Yeah, no, exactly. Well, it's a way of life, wasn't it? Yeah, for Trinity College. Yeah, and so I it's used to state. I used to do a little market, and when they did some building work, chuck it in the skip. I used to bring it home. Oh no, I would as well. This, I even this yeah, floor is no, this beautiful. That's friends who were. Some of them have got the markings on where the masons, uh, where the masons knew where they were going to go. You know. <laughs> that was an experience. The, the tales I was hearing then. I've come away with four books, <laughs> signed copies. Wow. That's nice to see as you come towards the end of the walk, isn't it? What a welcome sight. <laughs> So that's a blade, is it? Well, Sharp that's somebody sharpened a blade against the implement. Wow. It is a mighty fine church. Well, it was started, it was started in uh, about 1350. The, when this church was built, the, the fens were still flooded. Yeah. Something was actually a port. That I walk in the fen edge. Yeah. That's exactly so, what the five leaf contour at the moment. So um, they bought a lot of the stone in 
Barnaby. Barnaby. Barnaby Stone, the Ely Cathedral. That's correct. Dressed it on site here, yeah. and then took it into Ely to build the cathedral. Wow. Which took about 100 years. At the end of it, as a thank you, the Dean of the Cathedral gave the village enough stone to build this. So this is the same stone as Ely Cathedral. It is wonderful, isn't it? I've had a look inside and it is... Every bit of it is just oozing character, isn't it? Well, some of the... Um, if you go right to the top of the bell tower, um, there's in, scraped on the wall, there's dates from 1915. You think they were soldiers. If you go where the... Come in for a minute. I mean, we're not actually going to but... If you see where that star is up there, that star right about the wall, yeah. That's where the rude screen would come across. Yeah. And if, you, if you go up the spiral staircase behind that, there's all dates and names scratched in the plaster. Wow. Well. Some of them look at the Second World War, because obviously we had RAE, oh yeah, we had all those yeah. things in the Second World War, and they were coming in. So that's, yeah, that's the story of the place. Um, the other chamber of faith we've got is. Um, Gentleman there. Yeah. Winston Churchill's uncle. Oh wow. So it's his time of Winston Churchill was in his village and they walked into this church when he was born. The windows as well are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, they're they're they're, they're, they're not that old. Oh really? Uh, that's 1975. Oh yes, you can see the date. <laughs> yeah, that's an old one. Yeah. So these ones here, because the floor is actually about eight or nine inches down, the, the true floor. So the great and the good would have had pews at the front, and the others would have sat on the stone the outside. We know that um, in the winter well, they kept crops in here and stuff like that, and their tools, it's entirely possible they kept cattle in here, because you would have had the root screen there, Yeah. and that's the true.